right. Patience is a flaming virtue, you know. You right, love? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Well, I've come to look at the ceiling, see what I need in terms of materials and that. Oh, right. Why, you've not changed your mind about me doing the job, have you? No, no, it's just that most of the builders I've used in the past weren't this keen to get started. It's only up a stay. Well, you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm and all that. But the second mouse, it gets the cheese. What? No, it doesn't matter. Right, you better get started. I'm going to make a brew. Do you want one? Yeah, sound. To take milk? Please. Sugar? Three. I'm cutting down. Nice. Grim sugar. Oh, hello. Yeah, I know we're late starting, love, but I had a few staff issues to take care of. But we're here now. Uh, no, no, did you not get the message I left? Well, that'd be the one about the, uh, place of obnobs and two mugs of tea. <laughs> no, the one about me finding another builder who could do the job cheaper. <laughs> what, you found someone to undercut me? Well, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Who is he? It's not that builder Harry Tucker, is he? Because I'm telling you, love, he's the only builder I know that's got arrows sticking out of his van. No, it's not him. Well, who is it then? Come on, you might as well tell us. It's not like we're not going to find out, is it? Um... It's me. This here is my official resignation, all right? I see, right. So you're making a stand, are you? Yeah. Will you be burning your brow next? No. No, I won't, because I'm sick. I've been taken for granted and talked down to, all right? So you can keep your job. Because from now on, I'll wait for me. Fine, if that's the way you want to play it. But I'll tell you what, love, you better keep my number, because there's only a matter of time before he cocks up. <sighs> okay. You, uh, still on for that, sat do you? Yeah, definitely. Nice one. Well done for standing up to him. I am really impressed. Yeah, I just hope I know what I'm doing now. So do I. I've got a massive hole in my ceiling needs fixing. There yeah. you go. Oh, sorry, not even... Ah. Do you know, I swear builders can hear a kettle ball 100 yards away. Oh, as long as he keeps dripping down to his vest while he's here. I don't mind making him a brew now and again. Yes, sexy. What can I get you? Uh, what time do you call this? Where have you been? Yeah, sorry, I've had to cut around a few blokes, see if you can lend me some tools. Well, haven't you got your own tools? What sort of builder are you? Yeah, of course I do. Well, at least I thought I did. It's low in Nickton. What do you mean? Well, they've been around the yard to find me tools and they're gone. Oh, he says he hasn't seen him, but I know he's lying. Oh, right. So this is his way of paying you back for taking the job off. Yeah, it looks that way. Oh, he's got some nerve. So where's this leave you and me? Then? Well, I can't borrow any. And if it was to buy what I needed, it'd cost me close to a grand, which I haven't got. Look. Stella, the best I can do is tidy up the damage in the bathroom a bit. As far as the repairing goes, I have to give Owen a call. <laughs> Over my dead body? No, you just carry on and do what you can do. Leave it to me. Yeah. Everything all right? I'm 49, I'm single, I've got a hole in my bathroom floor this big and I'm reduced to washing in my kitchen sink. To be honest with you, Mandy, things could be better. At least you got your health, eh? You all right? Mandy said you want to see us. Oh, perfect timing. Grab a seat. I think you'll enjoy this. All right, sweetheart. Got your message. Bless the sweetheart, thank you. Well, that is it. OK. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? I understand you need something from me. That's right. Yeah, well, we're a bit snowed under right now, aren't we, Gary? Uh, yeah. Yes, we are. But I reckon we could start on your bathroom, let's say, day after tomorrow. That's not the reason I called. You've got something that belongs to Jason. Hey, he wants it back. I thought your mum thought you better see your Jason busy, was she? Give him his tools back. You know, I don't know what you're talking about, sweetheart. Fine. I'll make it simple then, shall I? If you don't bring his tools back by the end of the day, I am on the phone to the trading standards about that dodgy quote you gave me. I think they'll also be interested to find out about all the other customers you've overcharged for materials you never used. That's blackmail. Isn't it? It's effective, though. Come on. Where are we going? Just come on. Were you being serious about the trading standards? Of course I wasn't. He doesn't know that though, does he? <laughs> so how's it looking? Oh, well, there's still a big hole in your ceiling. That's what you're on about. I've done all I can. Look, Stella, I'm sorry I can't do any more. Oh, don't be daft. Anyway, I've got a feeling we'll be hearing from you know who before the day's out. Ah, oh, well, you don't know him as well as I do. He's the stubbornest man I've ever met. And then you met me. Right, what can I get you, love? Well, 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 what a surprise. Hey, good news, we found your tools. And before you start putting two and two together and making five, this has got nothing to do with what we talked about earlier. 
If you say so. Where were they? We found them. On the other store room. Cement. Are they all there? Yep, seems to be. Right. Well, then this calls for a drink. I no, don't mind if we do. I meant Jason, not you two. Flying horse? Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit sick of this place anyway. Looks like we're in business then. Yep, thanks to you. Come on. <laughs> 